Every day, you breathe on average 11,000 liters of air. That's a lot. But here in Course 1 at MIT, we know it's quality that matters. While this air that we breathe contains mostly nitrogen and oxygen, it can also be composed of trace gases that can be quite harmful to human health, even at extremely low concentrations. Take ozone, for example. Most people have heard of ozone in the atmosphere. It's that stuff that shields us from dangerous radiation. However, what many don't realize is that ozone has very different effects depending on where it is in the atmosphere. Most ozone hangs out high above our heads, between 10 and 50 kilometers off the ground. The rest, about 5 to 10 percent of it, is found near the surface, where we live and breathe. Where does the surface ozone come from? Emissions from fossil fuel combustion provide the main ingredients for surface ozone formation, with energy from the sun driving the process forward. This difference in location turns out to be crucial. While the ozone that's up high, in the so-called ozone layer, forms naturally and serves as an important shield between us and ultraviolet radiation from the sun, ozone near the surface is a dangerous pollutant. Exposure to ozone is associated with a variety of health problems, including reduced lung function, chronic respiratory disease, and premature mortality. Crops also produce lower yields in high ozone environments, reducing food supplies. In addition to these negative localized impacts on human health and plant life, surface ozone is an important greenhouse gas affecting the global climate by trapping the sun's radiation. Ozone is a tiny molecule with big impacts. And at MIT's Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, we work towards a better understanding of pollutants like ozone, helping us all to breathe a little easier.